take just a second here for the fourth, fifth, and sixth graders to remind you about concert etiquette. We, I don't think, at least in, in my class, we haven't talked about that too much, but it's something that needs to be talked about. When you are an audience member, fourth, fifth, and sixth grade, the idea is that they have worked very hard this whole year to show you what they can do. And they have parents here, and the parents are proud of them. You should be proud of them, they're very good. Um, and they want to hear, they don't want to hear you talking. And some people around you might be videotaping or recording on their phone, they don't want to hear you talking, okay? So, while a, while a group is performing, while a band is performing, your job is to sit there and enjoy it, not talk, okay? After they're done, no whooping and hollering, we'll save that for the football games and the rugby games and the basketball games and the soccer games. We applaud politely. And that's a phenomenal, like the Utah Symphony or Highland Symphony or Highland Band or Hillside's Music Department, then maybe a standing ovation. Okay, does that make sense? All right, good. Then without further ado, here's Mr. Watson. Thank you. We'd like to welcome you to uh, Dilworth's Spring Concert for the 5th and 6th grade. Up on stage, we have a group that if you were part of the, uh, came to see the winter concert, you saw these guys stand up here and they explained a couple of things that they were doing, and then they made a sound. And we've been working with that sound and working really hard as a band, and now they have some music to, that they've prepared for you and are excited to play for you. Uh, we'll begin with a piece called Her Majesty, in which we'll get to show off the percussion for a little bit. And then we have Ancient Trees, which will allow us to show off the different groups, the woodwinds and the brass as separate groups as well.
sound pretty good, right? For half a year, not bad. It was very hard. The last two pieces that we have for you are uh, one harvest celebration, um, and then we'll end uh, with a piece where they're learning about repeating and how repeating makes songs long, even though they don't look like it. And that's Renaissance Fair.
the next group is the fifth grade orchestra. Most of us learn to play our instrument this year and we have made a lot of progress. We have been working on getting a better song and a better sound and playing in part. Our first song is a traditional fiddle song called Cripple Creek. Thank you. 
song was a bit of a challenge that some of us wanted to play. The sixth grade orchestra will join us in playing the, the theme from William Tell Overture. This is the sixth grade orchestra. We have been working on more complex pieces and learning to play together as a group. Our first song is Mystic Killing.
Our next song has a medieval sound to it. It is called Gay in the Castle. Thank you. 
So we have uh, two groups for you. The first group is just the sixth grade group. And they had requested that they do their own, so I said, absolutely. We're going to do four songs. We'll start with Little Liza Jane, which is a folk song. Then we'll bring the fifth grade up, and we will do uh, a million three. No, oh, Bela. Then 